Hey, welcome to the settlement series. This is going to be a secondary series running alongside my blind playthrough of Fallout 4. And this is just kind of going to be where I can really take a minute to relax and do my inventory management and settlement type stuff without worrying you know too much about if people in the comments are telling me to stop or that i'm wasting my time or that they don't want to see it because i'm not going to include any of the story or quests or exploration new exploration i should say in these so you know they're kind of totally optional if you want to watch them or not if you're interested or not i mostly just want to do it and uh so you know, you have the you have the option to join me on on this part of the game if you would like to. You you don't have to. And I understand that that's a really terrible choice from like a algorithm perspective. So maybe if you're not already liking and commenting and subscribing, you could consider to do that for these videos specifically because they're not gonna look good <laughs> on my analytics page. That's fine, though. Not not everything is about that. And it's not going to stop me from doing what I want to do, because it never has. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Right now, I'm just going to kind of clean up a little bit. We need to maybe get rid of some of the stuff that's absolute trash, which is most of this. Um, and make it a little bit nicer in here. If you look at the top, you can see that they're unhappy about food, water, defense, and beds. Beds being the first thing they actually ask me to do. <laughs> I put this one here, which is pretty good, but I mean, it's not, it's not that good. So I think I'll clean up these houses a bit better to have more beds. Should I look in all of this stuff first? Like, does that matter? If I scrap this and it has something in it, am I going to get what it has? Probably not. It doesn't really matter though. We have plenty of stuff. And I bet I could just make nicer things than most of this. That's why very, very much of it is going away. Um, and okay, I kind of like the look of that, so I'm going to leave it. Let's grab this. There we go. Yes, I knew it could be done. I just wasn't really sure how. <laughs> and I think it might look nicer this way. I know it's kind of like in the closet this way, but I mean, these houses are just bunk. Like if, if you look at them, they're, they're, it's not like they're, they're super nice, great houses, which I do want to fix. Uh, I'm not really sure how to go about doing that. I'm sure it can be done. <laughs> not, um, not sure how yet. Like if you look at the roof, I, I feel like whoever's sleeping here, like, look at this, like, oh, bedtime, how lovely. Oh no, a rain? I am now wet. That is how that would go. And maybe that's not so good. I scrapped the bathtub that was in here because it was trashy looking. But I think it would be nice to keep this as a bathroom. There's resources, water resources. Uh, okay, so this is a water pump, like the one we saw at that other settlement. It probably needs to go outside. Yeah, it says it needs dirt. There's, uh, not showing up. Is it too big to show up inside? What if we come out here? Will, will it show to us? Mm, what? No? Can I see this one? Oh, I can see this one. Why can't I see that one? Because I don't have rubber? Shouldn't it at least show me the thing? Even if I don't have all the stuff to make it with right now? Wow, I could make this. I could I could build this. In the middle of the street. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I can't. Um, it needs to be placed in... Water. Do we have... Water? We have a river. Uh... Okay. Yeah, we could probably put this like, yeah, okay. That, yeah, that's that's working. Let's leave that first. Can any of this stuff go away? Oh, it can. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Uh, this is probably where I'll put those. Maybe I should get rid of that. Can I get rid of these blocks? Can I move them and put them back, you know, nicer? I guess I can't. 
Um. Well, that's that's fine. I'm just kind of getting materials from this anyway. But this looks like a nice place to put them. Oh, look, a toilette. Hang on, we have to look in it. There's a stim pack and some right away. Um. Okay. If I remove it. Yeah, that thing goes away too, so it's good that I checked it first. I don't think I would get the items in it, you know? So we probably need to be checking things. There's some ruined house parts, a, a barrel. I just kind of want the, the trash to go away. There's a bathtub. It doesn't need to be in the river. And a refrigerator door and some random branches. Okay, that's looking pretty good. This is a, a decent... Amount. Is that a car in the water? This is a decent amount of space for us to work with. Maybe I'll actually leave this this stuff over here. No, we should we should clean up our natural environment and make it nice. So I will. Do I want to put that stuff over here or over there? Um. Well, this is closer to the cooking station, but actually, can I move this? It looks like I can. Can I just grab it? Can I just... Wait, 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 wait. I think I did it wrong. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I need to go off of... Hang on. Grabbing. So I'm, I'm, I'm pressing selecting time. Yep, that does happen. Okay. Let's take it somewhere more convenient. I, I don't really want to walk over here every time I need to cook something. So I will bring it back to... Uh, this, which is basically the main house, and I mean, I like it. I want to fix up our house a whole lot. I mean, it, it makes me so sad. I want it to look good for when Sean comes home, so maybe we'll clean it up a little bitty bit. Um, I don't think I should put this inside now that I'm looking at it. That's not great. What if we sat it back here? Will it lay flat on the ground, or is it going to be sticking, like, up off the ground and bothering me? Let's find out. It's going to be bothering me. That's what it's going to be doing. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's take... Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. What have I done? Stop. Don't do that. Let's bring this back up. No. I don't want your defenses. I mean, Marcy probably does, but I, I don't. Hang on. Grab. Okay, so yeah, we can push it far away from us and then I can kind of use that to see if it looks like the bricks are hovering too much or not. Uh, that, that almost looks okay. Al almost, like that's not great, but I think I can deal with this. So then if I were to come over here and use this, Oh, did he just say I'm clever? Was he even talking to me? I just kind of want to assume that he was. Let's cook all this food that we can can have. We might as well. And it, it did say that they need food. So if I put food from my inventory into the workshop, does that count as their food? I'm going to try that first. So if I, no, 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 no. If I go transfer and I go in my inventory over to aid, we can kind of, we can kind of see what's up. I don't really want to give them canned dog food. That feels like an insult more than anything else, but I do have like a ton of mutt chops and I'm not really into eating dog, but you know what? I don't think Marcy is picky. Actually, I do think she's very picky, but I mean, <laughs> like, come on, beggars. Can't be choosers, something like that. She's always complaining about how life is just one step away from death or something. So maybe she'll feel better if she has some food. Okay. Food's at zero now. I'm assuming that means they're happy. Uh, okay. So this is Sturge's melon patch back here. How many melons do we have? We have like three, three melon thingies, but I have melons. Maybe I can... Go to food. Okay, yeah. Melons. I have six melons. And we can plant them. 
so that's that's good. Why is this so picky about melon placement? And I'm not I'm not gonna try to put them all in a nice line or something. I think it's kind of you know nicer a little bit to have them randomly, you know, meloning around in the in the backyard. We have a few more we can put. So is this making is this making them happy? Are they gonna harvest these melons? <laughs> I would be really upset if all my precious melons from the super duper mart went to waste. But I think that's good. Look at that. That's a proper melon patch, except this fence is down. Uh, can I maybe pick this up? <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, 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 that's good. Okay, and then we can just it snaps, so we could we could snap it to um what? I wanna snap it to this one? Oh gee, but not like not like that. Like this. Oh no, it's floating. Well let's place it and uh oh no, I hate it. No, I hate I hate it. Mm mm. No. Okay. Um let's grab it. Maybe be no, 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 no. Don't do that. Uh, grab this one. Grabby. Grabby grab time. And... Oh, no. That's in the ground too much. I don't like it snapped to either of these. So maybe the move is not to have it snapped. But it just can't help itself. Oh, no, you don't. Stop doing that. I, I won't dig it. No. Stop. Actually, stop. Like, stop it. If I could just place it on my own. Oh my gosh. Okay, is there a way to stop the snapping? Maybe in the options. There's like a, a snap option thing, maybe. Okay, you know what? Let's go to this side. And, like, you can see what I'm going for, right? It's just like it gets too close to them. And that's the idea, is I want it close to them, but the thing is, I want it more like this, but just like in between them. Like we're bridging the gap, but... Stop. stop. Like, stop. Stop, stop, stop. I wish I didn't pick this up. I have regrets. I would rather this be down than be the way that it's being. Stop it! Just go right here! Just go right here, like, kind of. This is... This is mildly infuriating. <laughs> You can see what I'm going for, can't you? What if I just don't look at them at all? It doesn't care. Oh, wait. That looks pretty good. Holy cow. <gasps> yes. All right. That's up. That's okay. There's a little gap here. Uh. No, I do kind of hate the little gap. I do kind of hate the little gap, but that's okay. That'll work for right now. Here's another down fence. I'm hesitant to mess with it. Let's go back to the water. Let's go back to the water for now because <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to deal with that. So this is a water purifier. It gives 10 water. That's pretty good. If we had science, I could build an industrial one. I wish I could see how big it is or what what it looks like, but I can't. But we could build these down here, and I think I I think I do want to put them here. I want them to be like easily accessible. To the, to the people, so that, I mean, maybe they can reach it from the, the bridge up here. Let's try and put them, not like, not like that bridge, not actual bridge. I just said bridge when I meant like, not bridge. I mean, it's a common mistake. <laughs> that's, that's a common mistake that people make, right? Um, okay. So obviously the spigot should be facing the shoreline to make this make sense. And if I come down here to it, I'll probably grab it and like turn it. I want this to be efficient, right? So we're gonna put more than one. This is just the first one. There we go. And let's put another one next to him. Must be placed in water, yeah. And <laughs> stop! You're insulting my handiwork. You're making me feel dumb. Uh, 
er than usual. So I've put two of these and they each have, oh, they need a generator. Right, they need power. Oh boy, I have regrets. Okay. Uh, cages, raider stuff, power, there we go, generator. Oh boy, okay. Uh, well, I don't really want to just... Ooh, you scared me, Preston. I wasn't ready for you. Um, I don't really want to just have them outside. Like the generators. You know? Okay, there's a small one, and it makes three. There's a medium one that makes five. I need... I need copper and rubber. Okay, well, you know, I was gonna leave that tree there because it's kind of kind of an aesthetic, but if you're gonna have so much trouble with it, I'll remove it. Okay, you feel better? Mm-hmm. Let's look at these again. Build the generator. Yes, I, un I understand the principle. Oh, no. Do we need science? I can only make the dumb baby generator? <gasps> Wait, there's a windmill. Or there's a fusion one. That needs science as well. And that needs so much science. I'm never going to have that much science. I'm stupid. Oh. Man, that's... <laughs> it's not easy being me, is it? Okay. Um. I could just put this behind them and that would be kind of cool. It only produces three. Oh. Oh. Mmm. But I've already built them. Um. I've already built them and I feel like it could be nice for them to have this. Okay, well, it's like almost nighttime and it's just going to be easier to do this during the day when it's bright and friendly outside. So I think I want to go sleep and I want to go sleep in my house because it's my house. I don't remember... If the bed was intact or not, well, there's our answer. It's not. <laughs> so, um, I guess I need to scrap it, which is kind of sad. Let's see if we can build it back. It looks like we have a little cute little rug. It's in an absolute state, though. Poor thing. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, we go back while not looking at things, right? Furnitures, beds, and I want a nice bed. I want a nice bed for my nice house. And so far, this is the nicest bed I can do. Wait, what? What does the little settings wheel mean? There's like a little settings wheel. You see it? Um. Okay. How can I... How can I do anything with that? I can't. <laughs> like, I'm assuming it means it comes in different colors and stuff see most of these don't have the little settings wheel does it mean something i i don't frankly know whatever we're just gonna put this the way it is for now maybe one day we can have a nicer bed i'm not really sure but i mean we'll put it and then we'll grab it and we'll try to align it better because i i don't want it to be awkwardly placed which is probably a losing battle I really feel that it must be. Okay, well, there we go. We have a bed now. Hopefully, the other people won't use it because this is my house in my bedroom. But, eh, 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 it's okay. Might do either way. All right, let's sleep. For how long? It's nine o'clock. Uh, I, gee, I don't know. 12 hours is probably too much. Let's go with a, a nice 10 hours of sleeping, yeah? That should be enough for us to wake up and have daylight, and that's really all I care about. Hopefully nothing interesting is going on, because we don't have any defenses uh, <laughs> yet, and maybe that has the potential to be bad. Okay. Well... I don't know what we're gonna do about these houses. Some of these are absolutely just destroyed. There's like, there's no saving that. But I want to build our little neighborhood back to be, to be kind of cute. 
I'm really not sure how to make that happen. I'm, I mean, you know, I'm just placing beds at the moment, really. And let's put some more beds. So I put the one nice bed in here. But I think we could put another small bed in here maybe. So perhaps like people who are good friends or know each other, you know, maybe they won't mind too much sharing this space. But this is like one of the only houses that's like not my house that's still kind of like reasonably nice to be in. Okay, let's put that there. And then grab it and push it into this corner. Maybe. You know, if I put so much stuff in these houses, it's probably maybe going to be harder for me to work with the walls and stuff. I was just thinking about that because I'm lining them up like exactly with the walls. And since stuff doesn't always want to be clipping into other stuff, um, maybe that's a bad idea. Let's actually try something really quick with this wall. Uh, metal structures, maybe? I mean, is metal structure gonna match these the best? What does metal structure technically look like? It's hard to tell when it's all green, but I, th I think it probably would match. Wow, that's a cool... <gasps> wow! Wow, what is this? <gasps> oh! I, I don't know why, I just love it. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, I can make a freaky space house! Dreams! come true oh wow look it's like cool shaped okay that's gonna be fun that's gonna that's gonna be fun oh surprise for later what is this just like a metal shack i want to live in a metal shack oh <laughs> exciting i don't necessarily want to put them here in um you know sanctuary but i mean ah oh. Cool! The metal structures are neat! Okay, but they're also kind of weirdly weird, like curviness mostly. This one seems like it could be a thing though. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go inside with our nice metal wall. And I'm gonna go over to this window that's all kinds of busted. I'm gonna see, can I clip this into the wall? I don't think I can. No, that's not happening. Um, You can see what I was going for, right? Like if I could put it in the like right close or something yeah I, I don't know I, I don't know I had I had plans for that and it just really didn't go the way I wanted Hi, <laughs> mama Murphy how are you doing you're so cute do you like all of your mini chairs I did remove one of the other crappy chairs but I, I, I don't know I feel sentimental about these because I, I made them for mama Murphy though I do think I might take this nice one and uh take it to my house because it's it's nice there's no reason to scrap it you know it's it's one that i that i made for mama murphy and uh yeah we could just replace that chair with this chair at some point and have a nicer chair <laughs> might be pretty good okay i guess we need to go back to generators and beds and i don't know i'm just I'm just not sure what I'm going to do. I do want this place to look nicer. I don't know how to make it happen. You can't slap walls within walls. I, I frankly don't even want to think about how I need to approach the ceiling situation. Uh, It's just... It's just a mess. Can we see what our house number is, by the way? We can't, can we? Because if we look at this one, I thought I saw a number on it. No, it just says Rosa. Oh. Yeah. Neighbory stuff. So why doesn't this... Why doesn't this have... My name on it? Or something. Or husband's name. They could have put husband's name. Do any of these other ones have names on them? This is really not conductive to getting any <laughs> anything done. That's fine, though. We're good. Wow, what is this? Warehouses? No way, that looks like a little church. <gasps> wow. Oh, cute. Okay, okay. Maybe we can use maybe we can use some of this stuff. Is, are there other versions of this? There's not. It's just the way it is. <gasps> oh, the the windows are cool. I, I like these. I like the way these are. I do. 
Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, there's just more options than maybe I was... I don't know what I was expecting, but it's so many options, and I, I like the metal structures. We can have a weird, funny metal cave. It's gonna be cool. Every woman's dream. <laughs> right? Well, if we look in wooden prefabs, um, some of these are, are pretty good. Like, they're pretty closed off from stuff. If I want to put a generator or two down here, I feel like it could be done. Um... They're fairly large, though, and I, I would like to be able to put it, like, maybe, like, right here or something. I could put one, like, right there. I mean, this is, like, shallow enough. Like, we can make it happen. And some of these looked completed, basically. What the heck? These are huge structures. Is this for, like, if you don't feel like doing any settlement stuff, you just slap it down? I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that you don't have to do all of the walls and roofs and div, 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 yourself if you don't feel like doing it. But I don't know. I don't know, frankly, what I want to do. Let's go look at the warehouse again. <laughs> uh, where was it at? There's miscellaneous wooden structures. That's, like, fences and stuff. Maybe I can use those to fix the walls and the holes and stuff. I don't know. Okay, what are these? Oh, these are cool. What is this? I like it. Oh, it's like an exterior wall. Look, it has a weird little, like, chicken wire window. Wait, why does it have black things on it in the preview? Like, look at the preview spin around. When it goes to this side, it's like, what the heck's going on? Weird. So weird. Maybe this is enough to keep a generator dry. It's like a patio. It's like it's like an outdoor patio. I, I'm, I'm not convinced. I'm not I'm not convinced. This is cool. Look, it has like a oh, is that Jangles the Moon Monkey? Okay, so so much of this is, is so much cooler than I thought it was going to be. I'm really happy that I'm messing with it. Um But it doesn't help me solve my generator problem. You know? It just doesn't. Maybe if I smack, like, two of these together. That one's only got one, one wall side. That's a wall, that's a wall, that's a wall, that's a wall. Um, gonna go back. Gonna, gonna, gonna just go back. So there's wood, metal, concrete, warehouse, barn. Okay, I don't understand this one. There's something similar to, to this. Well, no, okay, now I, I kind of understand it. Okay, yeah, this is good. This is good potential stuff to put the thing in. This is the part I don't get. What is this? It, like, goes on top the house. It's like a little school or church steeple. It's very strange. And then why is that the representative icon for miscellaneous? I guess it doesn't... I guess it doesn't matter. Like, why can't it be Missy? Huh? Boxcars! That could be a, a good thing to put the generators in. It just keeps telling me to build a generator while well, I'm working on it. Okay. Elevators? What is a ball track? What is that? What are those? Ew. <laughs> I hate them. <gasps> wow. We can put buses. What is this? A trailer thing? Cool. Is that it? Can I go in this bus? Like, if I place this bus, can I go in it? We could just put buses. We could just live in buses. Wow. Okay. Let's look at the warehouse uh, prefabs again. And I believe it was just this one. And that's way... That's way too much. I'm not going to sit that in the water because that is silly. Hi, buddy! What's going on? I'm not going to sit it up here either because it's going to get in the way of his little path and it's just kind of strange. Um, but if we go back to some of the other ones, maybe like a little barn. Let's go to miscellaneous. There's like an outhouse. We could, <laughs> we could put an outhouse full of generators. I, I think I could probably only fit like maybe one in there though. Is that bad? Is that is that not is that not good enough? Is that not good enough? Is my generator outhouse not good enough for you guys? I mean, they can't be that picky, right? They're 
their their generators. I mean, their water purifiers. They, I mean, their generators to power the water purifiers. They can't be that picky, right? I feel like this looks stupid. Like, you're just going to put an outhouse full of generators in the middle of a river. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to do that, but I don't know where else to put them because up here is really sloped, and then Preston walks around on this, and it just gets in his way. And there's nowhere else to put it. What if I put... Okay, what if I don't use prefab? Um... Let's go back to wooden things. What if I put a floor? Like, can I put a wooden floor out here? No, not really. Okay. Well, we need to we need to get the water situation sorted. I'm I'm pretty sure. Although it looks like they're becoming happy now, even though they've only got three beds and no food, really. But <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Okay. We're gonna get this solved. What is this squat little cute thing? So I could put this somewhere. I don't like how it floats above the terrain. So any any terrain that's just curved is hopeless. It's just hopeless. You either need to find something small enough that it, it's like not noticeable or you need to do something else. What if I put the generator in this house and ran lines down there. Is that a, is that a a way to do things? Because then the generator could be inside, kind of. I mean, these are very dubious looking ceilings. But yeah, I think maybe. Whoa, that scared me half to death. Get it? Half to death. That's half of. Anyway, um, right. This is no longer a bedroom. Welcome to the generator room. This is where the generators are. The generator room is where I keep my generators. So. Yeah. I think that'll be good. Stop telling me to build the generator. Can't you tell that I'm trying? Am I not good enough for you? Probably not. Okay, yeah. Look, you can see them. Okay, this is great. This is good. Let's see if this dude has some bloat fly meat. Yeah, just just get some bloat fly meat that's been sitting here for like literally who knows how long. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? There's a safe. Well, I can't open it because no one's watching this, and so then everyone will. Ah! We'll be like, oh, you didn't get the safe. My goodness, I'm opening it. I don't care. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is a secret between me and the one person <laughs> who saw fit to, uh, to watch the box. Um, oh, you're so sweet, buddy. Kind of. When you're not being a jerk, it's scaring me to death. A stem pack, think I will. Okay. This is the generator room where the generators go. I kind of want to slap a prefab down in here so that it has a roof. Is that a crazy way to feel? Probably. I don't know that we can slap a prefab in, in this room. Uh, it's looking maybe sort of kind of like we can. Well, what about floor? Can I put floor on the floor so that there's more floor for my floor? Can I do that? Uh... Uh, no. Wait. <gasps> yes. Maybe. 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 Perhaps. 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 Okay. This might work. This maybe possibly could work. And then I'm going to grab it because I, I want it to be lined up in the corner. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So that we could attach more to it. Oh, come on, please. Is it because is it clipping into me? Like why can it not place? Oh, this is rough. Ooh. Oh dear. <gasps> like if you look it for like a second, it's like, okay, sweetie, you can have it. And then it's like, just kidding. You can't. Please let me place this. Please. Please, please, please. Okay. Uh, let's approach it differently. Okay, so I just really want it 
as close to the wall as possible. It's clipping over there, so it's not enjoying what I'm doing. That looks okay. Not great, but not terrible. Is there like a smaller piece of floor that I could use um, to fill out the rest of it? Because I don't think it's going to let me put it one next to this. It's definitely not going to allow that. Okay, what can I do then? Here's a tinier floor. I mean, that's not great. That's not ideal. That's really not working out for me. Okay, let's... I don't know! I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning. I know maybe this is frustrating. I'm so sorry. I just want to learn. Okay. No, not prefabs. Go to walls. Can we attach a wall to the... <gasps> yes! I mean, I'm not sure that's the wall I wanted, but it's working. So then if I grab this, it grabs both! Dang, but that's like gonna be impossible to maneuver. I could put a ceiling on that, maybe. Let's go over to the roof. Uh, these don't all look very flat. That one looks kind of flat. Okay, I think this one is the flattest one. So can it attach to the top? No, the ceiling hates it. Oh, the whole structure hates it. Why are you fighting me? I'm trying to make you pretty. I'm trying to make you gorgeous. Why are, why are you behaving in such a way? Okay, I'm gonna give up on this endeavor and I'm going to scrap these two things that I've made because I don't care. Uh, I do care, I'm pretending not to care. Don't let the game know that I care deeply and I'm emotionally distraught at the prospect of not being able to do this. Okay, so I can build a medium one, right? Yeah? Yeah, there's nothing limiting me from building this one that does five. The large one's the one I need science for. Okay, so if I just twist you around enough, will you be happy? Can I place you? Why don't you want to be placed? Oh my goodness. Can I, like, what, like, why can't I not? Okay, there we go. Is it because of the bloat fly? He doesn't have to be here. In fact, I wish he weren't here. Look, he's disgusting. Horrible, horrible thing. Okay. So if I put two in here, I think I might've just accidentally third personed myself. Well, can I just leave that? There we go. Yeah, I did. Back in. Wait, what? No, stop. There we go. What excellent default key bindings. Am I right, guys? Okay, let's put another one in here. Oh, man, we need more rubber and copper. Okay, let's get some. What can we go do to get rubber and copper about? It looks like somebody was hiding in here once upon a time. Huh. Cool. Back into build mode. And that TV could be powered, which is interesting. What do you have? What are you made for? Just steel. Okay. Rubber and copper. Look at that. What a travesty. Do I want to remove that? I'm not sure I do. It kind of makes me feel bad. Like, you know, these are our neighbor's houses. I don't really want to get rid of them. I want to fix them up, but... <sighs> it's probably unreasonable. Let's go... I don't know. Down this way? I'm sure we can find some tires or something for the rubber. I'm not sure where we're going to get the copper from. But we could also go back to all of those raiders that we killed out near the Corvega plant. Because I wasn't able to loot all of them because my, um, you know, my inventory was full. What is this? Uh, weed whacker. What if I scrap that? It has steel and screws. I mean, maybe I won't do that then because that's neither of the things that I need right now. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we could go loot those raider guys because I, I did want to do that anyway. I mean, this is just trash near the ruined house. It's not part of the ruined house. The ruined house is making me so sad. Look, a tire. There's the rubber. We need copper, though. 
What a refrigerator have? Copper. No, steel and rubber. Hey, what is going on? There's a pistol in the shower. How'd I miss that before? That's that's fairly specific, you know. Oh, and there's a terminal there that I can unlock? Oh. Well, I didn't do that before at all. I mean, I guess I could do it now. I already opened that one safe. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, it might be it might be a bit interesting. I can I can I can let people know about it. No, none of those. Let's try again. You know, just breaking into our neighbor's That's it. thing. No big deal. Sanctuary Hills! Oh, wow. What is Di Petro? Di Pietro? Totally high strong and needs to relax. I keep telling him that, offering to help, but so far, no dice. By the looks of the guy, he's self medicating with pie. Oh, is he Chubbers? What about Baker? My favorite tinfoil hat wearing nut job. Good for seven amples of day tripper a week. Guess he's a one a day kind of guy. Whatever helps the man groove. Rosa. Still trying to get her some buff out. Didn't expect the rationing to affect this, but it is what it is. Jahani. He wants something called Psycho. I'm not sure the stuff even exists. And if it does, do I really want this Neanderthal using it? I guess it depends on how much he's willing to spend. I'll put some fellers. Feelers. <laughs> out to my army connection and see where that goes. Gotta put some fellers out. <laughs> Russell, they still owe me for that last XL delivery. Occurred to me, was it even for them? Because so help me, if I find out they're juicing up those dogs, we're going to have words about more than the money. But we're probably beyond words anyway. I know they have a floor safe in there. I've seen it. Master bedroom, under the dresser. It can't be that tough to crack. Is that the one I already found a minute ago? I believe it might have maybe been. And then there's Concord. So, O'Keefe. Still good for a couple hits of O Daddy a week. Pretentious, pseudo intellectual guy, but his money is good. Williams. He wants medics. As much as I can get, he hasn't told me why. Not really any of my business. I'm guessing there's some sort of long-term pain management going on. Disease, maybe? Anders. Kids are usually a no-go, but this girl's got style and she's not interested in getting tweaked. Ordered 20 blood packs, some Halloween stunt or something. Whatever. Maybe she's really a vampire. What do I care? She's got her daddy's money. Huh. Boston? The Isaacs. Some student at CIT wants day tripper. Excel and an entire pallet. Yes, pallet of mintats. Not sure if he's doing crazy experiments, dealing to other eggheads, or on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Don't care so long as the money's good. Ward. Young married couple, good for a couple day trippers a week. Easy order, cool people, no brainer. McDermott. Cop, longtime buff out consumer, running into supply problems. We've had a good thing for years and I'd hate to end it now. And I don't exactly want to risk him getting all noble and law abiding if he can't get what he wants. That would end very badly for me. Spolsky. The old lady has upped her oh daddy order. Weird, but profitable. Is there anything else? Miscellaneous. Malcolm. Holmes, maybe? Just kidding. <laughs> Potential new customer in Charleston. He wants medic. Seems oddly desperate. Might be a cop trying too hard. Need to move slowly. And then Duchess. 
I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that. Anyway, underwear model from Braintree. Beautiful, intelligent, totally weird. All she's ever wanted is stem packs, 10 plus a week. My imagination continues to run wild. Okay, well, that's fine. Finally sussed it out, did we? <laughs> yeah, he finally did. So this guy was a total drug dealer. That makes me feel not bad about taking maybe potentially all of his things. I'm gonna take his bed. I'm gonna take his safe. Uh, I'm not gonna take his desk. I'm not gonna take his desk. What about this thing? Did I loot this thing? I totally looted that thing just a minute ago. Loot is not raining. Least is not raining. Yeah, if it ever rains here, you're all doomed. You're all you're all doomed to an eternity of, of moist because you'll you'll get damp. You'll get dampened because there's no no ceilings anywhere apparently. So this is another house with a pretty good interior. I'll probably be able to oh cute. I'll probably be able to put uh, rooms in here for people. Everyone will probably like that. I, I don't see any reason why this wouldn't make a fabulous living space for some of our guys. So maybe I will go ahead and uh, clean it out a little bit better. Actually, I think I'll keep that. I kind of like it. I don't know why. I know some of this stuff is just broken and complete trash, but hey, what if I just stand that up? There's no reason to throw it out. It's perfectly good. Uh, that's not perfectly good though. I can make them nicer couches, but let's face it, if the roof is bad, it's just gonna get ruined anyway. Okay, well that's, yeah, that's, this is a nice house. Let's put some beds in here for these guys. I think they might like that. Uh, wow, look at that. All right. Oh, what a cute little rug. You know what? I think I might take this. I have an idea for this. We're taking this for a minute. I could probably make one, but I want to take this one because I found it and it's super cute. So, hello, Marcy. Can't say I'm happy to see you, but I will say hello. And we'll take this and we'll just put it like right over here, maybe. Is this, is this not gonna work? Okay, wait, let's put it over here first. And I'll probably make her a better side table, to be honest. Uh, is it because she's sitting there? This is not going. I brought you a cute, uh, a cute rug. Mama Murphy, do you like it? It's super cute. I brought it just for you. You know, for you and your cute little slippered feet. I thought it, I thought it might be nice. I thought you might like it. Okay. Bring your end table back over. Just, just for now. A little bit. Uh, I'll make that nicer later, but I just wanted to give her that. If she ever gets up, I will, um. I'll put it under her feet and maybe that will be quite nice. If I grab her chair while she's in it, what's gonna happen? <laughs> okay, well, we need to hook up those power generators, but I think I'm gonna put some more beds because these guys do need more beds. And so uh, is this the one I cleaned out? It's not, this is not the one I just cleaned out. It's further down. So it's gonna be this happy yellow one. And and we'll put some nice beds in here. I think I want to put this one. This is just the nicest bed. And maybe we'll decorate this room at some point. Make it happy for them. But uh, for now, it'll just have beds. And it, it'll have two beds. I, I know. I'm not trying to cram everybody into the same space. But I, I really do want to get their uh, bed quota met. You know? So that, that's not too bad. So if I talk to Sturgis now, he'll be happy um, that we've built all of the beds. And I, I think I, I think I might do that, actually. Go ahead and do it. He seems to be working outside. Hello, did you see all of your new melons? Are you quite happy, Sturgis? Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. <laughs> what we need now is a reliable source of clean water. Oh, I'm working on that, too. I'm working on that, too. Uh, can you tell me more about it, though? I'm not sure what you mean. Like a well. They won't have to keep drinking the river water. That stuff's not good for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's reasonable. It's a reasonable way to put it. I did such a good job at placing this thing, but then this is just eternally bothering me. Let's open 
this up. So if I wanted to do something about that, cages. Cages? Not gonna worry about cages right now. <laughs> Structures. Um, yeah, fences. Oh. Junk fences? No, picket fences. Not wire fences, no, no. Picket, 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 picket. Picket fences only. Why does it show me the image of a picket fence and then it won't let me actually use that? That's the most stressing thing. Okay. Um. Well, this, this one actually looks pretty good. We could probably fix that one with no trouble. I kind of want to see if there's a picket fence that has no hope <laughs> or anything and I could just take part of it to fix that hole. Hello, is there anybody over here who's not using their picket fences? So what happens if we go outside the line? Nothing. I guess that's just the you cannot build out here line. Um, I feel like all of these fences could be fixed easier than that other one. They all seem to be structured, you know, more or less the way you would expect. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I don't want to yoink any of this one. Can I grab this and just straighten it up. That's that's good. <laughs> and then this is power yard, so yeah. It's not too bad. It's not too good, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I kind of just want to pick these up for my house, you know? Uh -oh. I might have made an oopsie. Does it not snap to that thing? I know we need to be doing generator stuff, but there's other stuff that I'm interested in doing. Please. I don't know what to do with that. Huh? Did it snap? Oh, it snapped there. Well, this was maybe not a good idea. I thought this would go back together pretty easily, but that's not... Not the case. Nothing can be easy. Nothing can easily... Nothing. Yeah, that that's good. This is how... How I want my f fences to look. Oh yeah, super good fences. Yep. That's it. That's the look I wanted to go for. Let's actually rotate this one. No, stop. Stop. You're misbehaving. Stop it. Stop. Why? Why? I give up. I give up for the moment. Ugh. Yeah, we're not going to be able to fix our fence. Our fence is just, it's just, oh, it's a disaster. Why even? What is even the point of the gate? So, I just, mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, let's go back in here. And, uh, okay, you know what, let's take this. I'll just snap it to that, I, I don't care, it's whatever. I'm sorry, Surges, your melons are, are moving. I just wanna relocate these melons. Please. There we go. Okay, and then that means this can come... Oh, no. That's not one piece. Oh, no. That's not one piece. Oh, dear. Oh, this is bad news. Snap. Oh, no! It's clipping in the ground! Ah! I moved the melons for no reason. Mm. No. Don't. Don't. Don't snap to that. I mean, yes, I want you to snap to that, but I don't want you to be that low about it. Oh, gee. 
Oh, this is not working out. Why is it like this? What is it missing? How could they do this? Oh, no. <laughs> this is so annoying. This is so annoying. This is the most annoying thing I've ever seen. Stop. 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 I cannot handle that. I, I have to leave. Okay, we're going to start thinking about power stuff. Because we have our happy generators. So let's go to power. Because I'm assuming we need them to connect. So here's conduit stuff. That's that's nice. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. This is cool. Attracts new settlers to the settlement when turned on. I would kind of like to do that at some point. Uh, but for now, let's look at the conduits. Boy, like, how... Yeah, this is fine. I'll just... That's, that's fine. Mm. Is that what you're supposed to do? This seems... That seems ridiculous. Why does it only snap when it wants to? Okay. Let's let's look more at these run a wire from the generator to the object that requires power. Yes, I'm looking at doing that. This is going to be so ugly. This is going to No, I don't want to put these like what? Floating or flying or on the ground all the way down there? Is there not like wires? Like hanging wires, connectors. Okay, hang on. What is this? We still need more copper before we can do anything. Okay, um I I just I don't I don't even know what has copper in it, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the red rocket station and we're gonna take stuff from there because I, I put stuff here so there's stuff here that we can take we can say hello to dog also hello let's go over here and do transfer and i want to take it all are you sure Down yeah I... carry, yeah boy it's fine it's fine how encumbered am i Wow. Okay. Um. I'm gonna make this work. I am. I'm gonna make this work. Let's try something. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Not this. Okay. <laughs> cool. Let's go sort things. Bye. Wait. And let's actually just have it, like, on everything. Wait, is it putting heaviest at the bottom? Oh, that's not fair. I wanted you to put heaviest at the top. Oh, wait, no, it didn't do anything at all, actually. Okay, cool. It unsorted itself. Resort yourself to wait. And this stuff just, it's just going. Well, we're, we're gonna worry about it later. There we go. We can, we can carry it now. Okay. <laughs> and now we go! <laughs> Sanctuary. <laughs> I mean, it, hey, I mean, come on. <laughs> you can't blame me. It works. Okay. Yep. So we're gonna put all of our trash. That was at the Red Rocket Station. I'm sorry, storage rats. Really. Pack rat, like... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put all the stuff that was at the Red Rocket Station <laughs> into the Sanctuary Workbench. And we're gonna see what we can do. That's a bunch of rubber right there. I guess I should do something about those and scrap them. Okay. <laughs> all right. Don't question it, anybody. Just don't question it. 
And we're just gonna take all. Okay, cool. And then we can we can store junk in here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's open Nothing back I hate more up. Than raider scumbags. If you run into any, put a few down for me. Okay, sure. I'm good at that. I like doing that. Um. So here's a connector and switches. If I put this thing close enough, is it just gonna be like, oh yeah, I know what you're going for, and um, you know, connect? Is there like a, a way we need to do that? Oh yes, there it is. Attach the wire. Okay, and then you need to attach to that, right? Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Let's take this up to. I don't think it's gonna hit attached to that. It's, this is all just kind of awkward, but that's fine. Let's go to power. Um, you know, I don't like this the way it is. I don't, I don't want this here. I'm gonna get rid of that. I just, I don't want it. This is not what I want. Okay. Um, so, no, 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 no. Okay. Connectors and switches. So this is a switched power pylon, and I put a connector with a switch down there. All I need is, yeah, a power pylon that that I can run, um, that I can run that thing to. So I think that it should maybe be out here, like maybe over here somewhere, and then I can get rid of that small terrible tree. Um. Okay. Is this gonna be able to reach that far? No, why is that not going? Why is that not a thing that you like? Okay. Let's grab him and move him closer. I don't know how close. I think I'm gonna scrap one of these bushes maybe. Maybe I can't. I can scrap that. Uh, this awful bush is just permanent. Okay, that's fine. I'll put this next to the terrible thing. Okay. Might be nice to have a little structure down here near the picnic table so they could have like a little eating area. Why? Why does that not work? Is something obstructing it? I can't tell because of the angle I need to be at to look. Okay, we have fallen down. That is okay. And it's getting dark again. I'll probably go sleep one more time, but I mean, yeah, we're just gonna keep working on this. Let's move it closer. Like I said, it may be nice to have some kind of little structure out here. Well, I feel like this is just a waste, honestly. Like, it's just so close, and I, I used all of those materials to make it. Okay, so can I move it while it's hooked up? Yeah? It's just getting so low, and I don't want it to be too low because uh, Preston walks down here, and I don't want him to be, like, ducking or hitting his head on that every time. Is that good? Is he gonna have clearance to walk under this? Yeah, he can walk under that without it bothering him too much. It's a little awkward still. It's fine. I'm just trying to give these dudes stuff. I just want them to have nice things. I don't know why. I just do. Okay. Let's put another one up the hill further. Like, is this far enough? I kind of want it to be in this yard. Hello, can I? No. It's because of the incline, isn't it? Maybe putting them in there was a mistake. Have I made a mistake? No, couldn't be me. Uh, can I be in build mode while in third person? Like, so I can zoom out a lot, perhaps? No, that's not a thing you can actually do. Great. That's convenient for me. Um. 
I'm wasting all my copper on these stupid connector poles when I wanted to build an actual another generator. So I'm gonna do that first. Here we go. Here you go, little generator. I got you, um, got you a, a friend. <laughs> And then, I'm still getting used to these controls. Alright. Cool. Um. Okay, does that not work? Will that not go out the wall? Okay. In that case... I guess I will use one of those weird wall pieces. What's the difference between this one and this one? And it is literally called a wall pass through. There is a giant hole in the wall. I don't believe that this should actually be a problem. Solved it. Okay. Um, let's go back outside. And see what's up. Okay, it, that goes through the awkward, like, hole in the wall bit, but I don't care. Do not care. That'll work. That'll work for me, okay? Okay, let's turn it a little bit, though. I'm trying to have them all with, like, a consistent orientation. It probably doesn't, doesn't even matter, but... I don't know. It makes If it makes me feel better, if it makes me feel better, then okay. Okay, so you go here. Just kidding. Okay, wait, no, not just kidding. There. So, they've got water now. Uh, I think I want to move you a little bit. That just looks kind of nicer. If I move you backwards, not too much because I know you're getting lower the more I move you, but that's just more symmetrical. So now these things are working. Cool. I did it. So proud. What about food though? I mean, I can plant more food or I could even make this like a, a, another little, um, I don't know. She seems to be enjoying her sit down time. You know what? Let's let's be a brave person. Let's sit with Marcy. Let's give her an opportunity to have a friend, a friendly chat. Hey, baby, what's up? Oh, we're getting up. Okay, intimidation Help time. Get lost. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go in here. It looks like Sturges is uh, walking I feel on. Feel better stuff. already. Knowing we oh. have a reliable supply of clean water. I Welcome. hope you don't mind me asking for some more help. But our food supplies are running low. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna settle here. We'll need to get some crops established. I planted you so many melons. So many melons. What do you What do you want? What kind of crops are you looking for? Well, it doesn't much matter. Potatoes, mute fruit, corn, whatever you can get to grow. Okay. <sighs> it's never enough, is it? Well, where are they even going to want that? I, I made them the world's loveliest melon patch. Except it's not, because that one wall is absolutely cursed. That's fine. Let's go to sleep. Another successful day. Another well-earned rest. I think so. I believe I have, like, a tato. And maybe some corn. I don't know what else though we may need to harvest Mother Nature things. never ceases to amaze through all the post-war devastation the sunrise is still quite pleasant i do like that he enjoys the sunrise that's that's nice codsworth that's that's nice okay um guess it's time to get planting Look at that water! They've got 20 water! How cool is that? I hate this fence. This is not okay! This is not okay! That's not how fences do. I could maybe move them. Ugh, oh, I'm just so frustrated. 
No. Please. Please, don't. No, just stop. Maybe we'll do that. You know what? Oh, it's awful. It's just awful. It's so bad. Okay. I like the playground out there. I like that. So if we leave being on the power section and we go, where is resources? We go to resources, we go to food, we planted melons. I've got a mute fruit. This is kind of a cute little bush. It could go in here too because this is kind of like the, uh, I don't know, fruits section, except melons take up a whole lot, a whole lot of room. Uh, all right. I could put them on this side of the fence. Oh, it's just so cursed. I can't handle it. Let's put these up. Let's put this like approximately where it should be, right? And then you can do that. Oh, it's bad. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. There's a gap. Can I plant a tree or something to cover this gap? Or maybe that's where I'll put the mute fruit. Maybe no one will know. No, the mute fruit cannot save us. Okay. Well, I'm not going to plant there then. We could plant on this side. I feel like this is just their main hub. Hub, hub, hub. So we'll clean out branches and wood stuff. Maybe it's time to give up on the picket fence. I don't know. What are these? What is this? Scavenging station? I don't even know what scavenging is. Like, what does this do? Does this just give random stuff? I mean, it's not food, but maybe it's something pretty good. I have no idea. Uh, oh, hey, look, Marcy, you're trying to be social. Points for trying, I guess. Uh, let's put this over here. There we go. Extra scavenging. I don't know what that is. But I'm, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Well, well, well. <laughs> hey, mom. How are you, Codsworth? Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't talk to you. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I just like him. I just want to talk to him a little bit, but... I'm not trying to get all the super cool dialogue in the settlement series. That's not the point of this series, and that's not what we're trying to do. We're supposed to be settling. So, back to food. I've got one corn. I've got two carrots, one corn. A mute fruit plant. A tato. Well, this produces more food than the other ones, so maybe I'll start with this. I need more mute fruit. Where do you get mute fruit from? Like, where is it? Where does it come from? We just harvest it, right? Like around. Maybe if I look around sanctuary, even we can see some mute fruits or something. I know there was a uh, flower growing up up there, so maybe we can look near this river. Be on the lookout for mute fruits, which are cute, cute little plants. That looks like something over there. You see those? What are those? Yeah. We have to cross a small river to get there. <laughs> I'm ready. Are these meat fruits? Oh, sweet. Okay, one. Just one? Wait, two. Three. Four. That's five. Six. How much do you think he wants? Like, I gave them 20 water supply. Maybe I'll try to give them 20 food supply, but I don't think I can get that many mute fruits. Hello, blowflies. Am I too far from you to be doing this? I guess I'll, um... I'm not gonna use my crit on bloatflies. Thanks, Codsworth. Ewey, ewey. Not really at all. No, I would not. I would not say that. But if I cook it and I put it in the wait, 
Man! Something to explore. Oh, hurts me. Okay, we will leave it for another time. That's fine and normal. Okay. You see any more? I want to keep scouting for them out here. Because we need to give these guys... Nice food supply. Oh, the dog is pretty! Bet he's not a friend, though. Not hoping to find out about it right now. I bet we're gonna find more Meyer Lurks. Let's go up here and just kind of look. Do you see any mute fruits? I see a little fence. Maybe that is also something to explore. Oh, there's some mongrels. I could cook them and put them in the thing. Are they coming? Yeah. Are they going? Don't let them surround you. Oh, well. I mean, I kind of thought they might just trot by. They didn't do that, though. Wait, why does that one have a baby rattle? That's kind of concerning. Okay. I don't see any mute fruit plants. Are these where the carrots come from? Yeah, because they're called carrot flowers. So I'm assuming those carrots. So we can plant some of those. And I'm just going around the immediate area. I'm not, I'm not going to go too far away from the settlement because that's, that's a, a special surprise for later, you know? Looks like this guy was fishing. I see a, a fishing rod. There are some leathers. Float fly meat. What were you up to? Wait, I can take you? I can take you with me? I don't want to take you. I want to leave you here. With your fishing rod. As nature intended. Okay, well I've been over there before. I think. Uh oh. We're not trying to do that. I'm, I'm just out here looking for a mute fruit. Let's swim across this channel really quick. I know it's going to irradiate us, but I'm not going to think about it too much. And I am going to crouch when we get over here because I want to check. And we're good. Okay. I'm not, I'm not seeing a whole lot. But we found some right away, so that was lucky for us. There's a Nuka-Cola cherry and some Brahmin meat. But even if I do cook the food that I've found, like that Brahmin meat and the bloat fly pieces and mongrel bits, um, that's not really a sustainable food source. You know, like me providing to them all of their food, that's not a sustainable food source. They are going to need crops. And these are flowers, so those are not mute fruits. Okay, I think I see some, actually. Uh-oh. That's caltrips. Because this is not the sprint button. I would like to pick them up, but I cannot. So they will live there. They will live there peacefully. Do not step. Okay, thank you. Let's see if that's uh, enough to make them happy. I would like for them to have more food than this, obviously. But it is what it is. For the moment. So I will... No. 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 I don't want third person. I want the build menu. Thank you. So much. Hey June, look! I found carrots! Does this make you happy? No. Nothing makes you happy. I'm sorry. I tried. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? Wait, what? Were those not mute fruits? Were those something else? What? Wait, stop. Wait, am I dumb? Might be. No! 
It's, oh, they're wild. Is that bad? You can't plant the wild ones? Oh, well that, that ruins everything. <laughs> that ruins the whole plot. Um, oh, okay. I'm, I'm learning. It's all right. It's okay. No, I don't want third person. I want build mode. Well, I can plant two carrots, I, I guess. I'll, I, I, I'm, yep. Yeah. I'll just put them all in like a line right here. So a carrot. How close can they be? Not very. There you go. Two carrots. Uh, should I put the corn behind the carrots? So I can just put them in lines, I think, maybe? I don't, I don't really want to put it there. I don't. I have a gourd. I don't know where I want to put the gourd. I guess I'll, I guess it doesn't matter. Just put it somewhere. And it's fine. Let's go talk to Sturges, actually, and see if he has any good advice for us. Because I refuse to go out adventuring in the world. Um, because we're only settling today. This is settlement time. I am going to try and see what happens if I... What if I... Can I select her chair? No, once you've placed it, it is forever. Okay. That's fine. I just wanted her to have a, a rug for her feet. You know? Maybe if this chair gets moved back some. Can I not give you a cozy rug for your little feetsies? That's okay. You still have a nice little place. Um, let's grab this chair and put it over here with you. So maybe somebody else will sit with you. I really, I'm really unhappy with that rug placement. Why can I not slide it over some- wait, what the heck? Sorry, my little brain is working. I don't think that's intended. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't think that's actually uh, intended and we might be able to, to do something with that, but I, I think I need to experiment more with it first. Uh, not, not something I'm gonna do necessarily right now, but that's, uh, interesting. It's interesting. So, are there any more rugs, like, randomly around? What about the one in our bedroom? Actually, what about this one? No, that didn't work. Okay, never mind. Let's go try it with the one in our bedroom really quick. Can I sprint while build mode? No, can't even. Can I throw caltrips while build mode? No. Okay. Good to know. Um. Okay, what about here? No, that doesn't work. That does. How strange! How incredibly strange! Okay. And then that doesn't work. I, I, okay. I, I don't really understand but I feel like rugs will sometimes move what's on top of them. And uh, I'm interested. I'm interested in that idea. So um, let's put this thing on top of that rug and then move it. And then if I move it somewhere that the rug can be, yeah, look, you can make the chair. As long as the rug is happy where it is, I could make that chair clip into that wall. Uh, I don't want to place it there because then I have to place it back. But that's, uh, I don't know what, I don't know what that is actually, because I have the unofficial bug patch and theoretically, if that was a bug, it would be patched. 
But it's not, I, I, there's no way that's intended. There's, there's no way that's an intended effect of moving a rug. And like, mm, <laughs> how spicy do I want to let my opinions be? I, I feel like that's really bad quality control because I was able to discover that in less than two hours of using the system. So I don't want to be on my high horse in case I'm wrong. Uh, please don't interpret it that way. But I mean, I just feel like, I just feel like something's, something's up. You know, I feel like something's up. I don't know that I want to keep this stool actually. But I think I do want to put them a small generator in here if I can get the copper to do it. And this will just be the bathroom slash generator room so that I can maybe give them some lights or something to use at night. Maybe make it just a little bit homey, a little bit cozy. Um, that could probably be pretty good. I'm going to bring... Uh, no, not Cosworth. I'm going to bring my pack rat inside. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about the food. Let's talk to Sturges. Because I just don't have enough. I just don't have enough food. Where is he hanging out? I mean, I gave them so many melons. And if I if I harvest the melons, I can plant more melons. And we can infinitely become melon. But it looks like it's going to take a while to grow. And then when I harvest that, it's probably going to say, Wild mute fruit. And it's not going to let me do anything with it. <laughs> I will cry. Rubbish. On the inside. Rubbish, he says. Watch me rebuild society, Cosworth. Let's see if you still think it's rubbish whenever I am heralding in the next empire. Like, what is that made of? I have no idea, but I will take it. I should probably scrap things in here. I just, I don't know what items have copper. I, I just, I, I know it's like listed, but I... I don't have it memorized. I don't. I know. Maybe that's crazy. I don't know. There probably is. Honestly, there probably is somebody more suited to all of this. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I am the person for this job. I am not. Hi, yeah. Preston. Hey there. Things are tough now, but they'll get better. Thank you. I just need to plant some mute fruit or something. Sturges! Have I put the carrots in your way? Hi. Hi. Just find Hello. a nice spot of ground and plant whatever you've got. Anything fresh will be a great change for us. I just don't have very much. Okay, we're gonna slap the corn down. No, I don't want third person. I want build mode. You have to hold it down for so long. I should probably just re mine that. Um, but I won't. Because you know me. So, let's go over here. No carrots. I have a piece, a single piece of corn. And I have a gourd. Oh, I already planted it. That's right. I don't have any melon. I have a tato. Oh my gosh. Why are they still no food? Why, why are they still, why? Why? And I'm assuming they're gonna need defenses next. I mean, I can do defenses. I mean, I can do defenses. <laughs> I can't do defenses. Yes, I came all the way over here to make that terrible joke. Oh my goodness. Should I scrap that? How much rubber is that? Oh, it's a lot of rubber. I think it's kind of cool. Wait, why are you freaking out? Calm down. If you're not going to behave yourself, I'm going to put you in timeout. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Okay. Well, I know for sure I didn't give Codsworth any food in his inventory. So if we were going to go find food, I guess my first pick would be the Sunshine Tidings Co-op. So we'll go back there briefly. Again, we're just trying to do settlement stuff. So hopefully nothing too crazy happens, but I just need fruit or veggies. 
And this is a co-op. So certainly it can help me. I do wonder if I entered the build menu here and I stored... <laughs> and I stored things, if I could then whip them out at the other settlement. You know what I mean? I could probably scrap some of this stuff. Look, what is that? What do I get for that? No copper, that's for sure. Okay. I can't plant the glowing fungus, which is a little sad because it would be cool if you could and then you'd have the prettiness of it. I'm not sure this was the right move. I just, it's a co op. It, it makes me think of foodness. You know? Like, there's a silo and everything. But I totally investigated all of this before. So I'm just gonna keep looking around it a bit and seeing if maybe. Come on. I want the build menu. I don't want third person. Why is this so why is this so hard for you? Am I outside the bounds? I think I'm probably outside the bounds, but I was gonna try to scrap this stuff because it's obviously trash. Let's go under these weird things. And that looks cool. I want to investigate that. Is that food? Oh no. I'm not trying to discover things. I'm not. I, I refuse to look at him. I just want food. And this is what came to mind. Okay, this was not a success. What is that glowing fungus again, probably? See, it's so cute. I want to plant it around. Okay. Well, the weather's nice. What? Oh, flowers. The weather's nice. I, I do think the rain is, is cute, and it's a nice time of day to search around and stuff. Really feels like it could be a spooky adventure, except this is build time. And we are unconcerned with things. What? Just Codsworth being Codsworth. Hey, look, a lunchbox. It has a melon. We can plant that. Cool. There's a bed here. Not anywhere I would like to stay. And then there were ghouls in here before. But I dealt with them. What was that? I thought I saw something. Squirrel on a stick. I didn't even see that laying in the fridge. I only saw it because it was the activate bit. What? What, honey? You saying something? Okay. Wait. Oh, these are wild, though. I'm not going to be able to plant them. Oh, that's the worst. So maybe my idea was kind of right, but also ultimately it was wrong. All right. What's the next plan of action, huh? What, what should we do next? I don't know if there were any near Gorski's cabin, but it's another area that's been cleared. Um, we're just gonna go to places we've been while we check. We'll see what we can do. Hello, cabin. Can you help me with my settlement time -ness? If it was daytime, I'd have a little bit of an easier time looking. This atmosphere is rather unpleasant. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. I don't want to discover that. I don't want to discover anything. I just want to go places I've been and look for food. Let's just check it for food, guys. This is like a little camp. A few supplies in it. 
Oh, there's medicine here? But no, no food, no lunch boxes or anything. Well, we're right near Concord, so we can continue looking around at Concord because we've we've been to Concord a bit, quite a bit. And maybe there will be food nearby. It seems like the sun's coming up, is it? I can't check the time. Nope, it's dusk. I thought it was dawn. Whoopsie! Shoulda maybe been able to tell, but I mean, whenever you fast travel around, that eats a bit of time, and I just wasn't sure how much time it had eaten. Well, we're out here behind that really pretty church. And out here behind the museum. And so far, no food. Nothing food related. Not seeing any fruit or anything nearby at all. I am seeing something happening down there. Okay, let's actually go back to the rifle. Because I want to take a look at them. I think it's ghouls? Like, look how they're crouched. Oh my. There was people there, and now there's not. And, you know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be against it. Oh, I wouldn't be against using my super cool critical strike anytime now. Oh, look, they're losing us. They can't find us. They're confused. They're gonna make it up this hill, though. <laughs> they're gonna make it up here. And it's gonna be fine. There they are. And zero chance to hit, so we'll let them get closer. And... Got it. I mean, I don't think they decided that. I think they found that out. I believe those are fundamentally different things, Codsworth. No plants. But, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, let's see if these settlers had anything. Hello, do you have any food? No, not really. You're scavengers, huh? Oh, razor grain! <gasps> Thank you, sir! Thank you, razor grain. We just need so much stuff. Here's more. Uh, these are settlers, actually. And. Oh, yeah! More razor grain! There's a carrot! Oh, good! This was good! This was helpful! Hey, Cosworth! Oh, wow. Trade me? Are you full? Are you full up? He is full up, isn't he? Okay, we'll drop, like, their outfits or something down here. Or I guess I could put them in the storage box. I don't think this would empty out, would it? I don't really know. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I have no idea. I'm just kind of hoping that... Yeah, we want to go by weight that I've bypassed twice now. And these things can go in. Let's go over to apparel. I need to deconstruct a whole lot of this. Let's put in the stuff we just really truly do not need. And that'll do. That'll do for now. Do you see any food? Any vegetables? What about that guy, uh, that guy with the cats, right? He's down, he's down this way, isn't he? Let's look on the map. Oh, dang, no, he's not. He's down, he's down over this way. 
Uh, wait, no, this is right, isn't it? This looks familiar. Have I been in this? Oh, if I have, I didn't get those, but... I'll get them now. Okay, let's see if we can make it back to Catman. Because I hate Catman. But... Maybe he can sell us some food. It looks like the quarry might be okay right now. Not really sure. Not gonna try. Not gonna investigate. I just want to go to Cat Dude. Where is Cat Dude? Uh, I wasn't following that road for Cat Dude. I was going this way and down for Cat Dude. And then here's something happening. There's a dog. Okay. Hello, I am only here for any potential food. Yourself included, I suppose. I'm not gonna take stuff from these raiders unless it's food. Wait, what is that? Rose dress? Laundered rose dress? Laundered. Laundered, as in has been cleaned? Rose dress? Yes. Scorpion meats? Did these guys kill a scorpion? I guess they did. Anything else? No! Amazing. I guess that's why they killed a scorpion. They didn't have any food. And there's a thing. Like, look, there's a thing right there. This is not exploration adventure time. This is get razor grain and move along with your day. That's what that's what this is. That's what it's supposed to be. I just really want to do settlement stuff. And apparently the settlement stuff we need to do is food. I mean, I guess I could give it up. But the thing is, I'm only doing... Those Meyer lurks. No thanks. I'm only doing the um, settlement stuff like every 10 episodes. And yes, the episode of settlement series of which this is the first, hi, um, can be as long as I want it to. I'm not putting a time restriction on that like I do on the normal episodes. But... Ah, oh, I just want to get it done. I just want to get some stuff done. Why are there so many little camps? I mean, yes, I am familiar with the idea of unmarked locations, but there's just way so many of them. I almost said way too many, but there's not too many. Like, can you have too many unmarked locations? I don't believe that you can. But there are so many, so there are way so many. Way so many of these. This would be nicer in daytime. There's a parking lot. I want to go in the parking lot. Like, that looks that looks great. That looks like a fun time. Hey. Hey, Bloodbug. Oh, I love him. Cosworth is the cutest. Well, let's keep going towards where maybe the cat dude was. I believe he was, like, north of this stuff. Have I missed it? Have I? Have I missed it? Oh, wait. I came from that way, didn't I? I don't remember which way I came from. I don't. I don't know. I'm so lost. I'm so confused. I'm so lost and confused. There are blood bugs over there. I don't know where Catman is. I think he's over near or under that bridge. Or this one. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Was I going this way? Was I going that way? I don't know. It's all so confusing. I should probably be in the wilderness. I feel like the wilderness is a better a better way to find what I'm looking for. But they're all wild! I don't need wild ones. Look, there's something. We could explore it. I need to give this up. I need to give up on this. Let's <laughs> Let's just take what we've got and go back to Sanctuary because we're getting so close to having some kind of adventure and I'm not trying to do that. That's not the point. So back home. Let's plant these. No. Yes! <laughs> Let's go to our resources. And I guess I should have been saving them up. I, I mean, truly, but that was not occurring to me. Not even slightly. That was not even a thing I was thinking about at all. Why can I... 
So how come one can't go there? I'm, I need to keep them evenly spaced or it's going to bother me though. Don't have any corn, no new gourds. We do have a melon. Melon goes in, in melon section. I feel like this is overlapping other melons. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that happening? Why would I overlap? I would not. I would not overlap melons. I would not make that happen. I'm not. I'm not that kind of person. I wouldn't do that to them. There we go. Do they have any food? All of this is like point one. This is the most frustrating thing. Okay, let's just plant these over here. I can move them later. For now, they, they just they just need to go. Wow, that one's huge. Let's make a smaller one. I don't need some that look that big. It doesn't make a difference in what they actually produce. Still nothing. We're still at like zero food. We're still at zero food. I don't know how to deal with that. Let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep and then we'll cook up all of these animal bits and then maybe I'll put them in the in the place, you know, in the workshop place. I'm not I'm not sure. Okay, so it's three o'clock. So we're gonna have a small sleep this time. We just need daylight. We just need it to be morning time. Sturges, why are you in my house? Uh I just find a nice spot of ground and plant whatever you've got. Anything fresh will be a great change for us. Okay, I've done that. You're welcome. Get out of my house. I didn't invite you in. <sighs> There's a shovel here. I wonder if that could be a weapon. But I don't really want to take it to find out. I will leave it. Let's transfer junk. And I put the cooking thing right out back. So we'll go to that. And we'll see about cooking some stuff. Maybe I'll give them more of this food. I'm just not convinced it's going to make a difference for them. You know? We can just make dog chops for days absolute days of, of dog stuff and just leveling up off dog stuff and dog stuff forever okay. all right let's put these in the workshop and see if that matters to, to anybody at all over to aid and I'll put in I'll put in the blowfly I'll put in the bug steak they can have the roaches like really truly I'm not sure this is mattering to them at all and they can have the mutt chops there you go guys that's food you can eat that I mean you may not want to I know I don't but you can eat it okay they're zeroed out on food and I, I just wish there was different food I could plant or like someone I could buy some food stuff from to plant it and there probably is but I haven't met them yet and that makes this stage of the game really 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 difficult if you're not trying to go out and, and look for that sort of thing hope you find your son thanks and I hope so too at this rate I'm just not sure I hope he's doing okay I want to help him but I need to survive too. Remember to sign somebody to take care of the crops. They need looking after if we're gonna harvest anything. What does that mean? Okay, so I've planted enough, right? So that guy's unassigned. I mean, you're the melon man, frankly. How do I assign you? Okay. I should probably put June on it actually. Let's cancel. June. I would not put Marcy on it. She is not a nurturer, I would say. Okay, can you take care of crop? 20%? 40%? Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I didn't need that. <gasps> oh, I am in pain! Mental pain! I took psychic damage from that being the way that this works, but that's fine. I figured it out. How much food is going on then? No, I don't want third person. Th 
Thank you. Six. Better than none. I'll let him. I'll let him have it. That's fine. Good luck, June. Enjoy that. I'll organize it better later. So let's talk to Sturgis again, who apparently is just hanging out in other people's houses because he does not care. Sturgis. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Good. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Great. The trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. Ugh. We need to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. That sounds good. What kind of defenses do you want? What sort of defenses did you have in mind? Walls, sandbags, turrets, whatever you can put together. Oh my goodness. That's a tall order, isn't it? Okay, let's see what we can do. All right. Let's go to defenses. So we could make a guard post. We could make some turrets. We could make some traps. What kind of traps can we make? That looks like a floor. The trap door opens if something steps on it. Oh, cool. We could like funnel enemies into a trap door and have them fall down. Um, spring traps. Saw blade traps. That's spooky. Spike trap. Uh, <laughs> Marcy Long, the scariest trap of all. Um, there's stationary guns. And paintball guns. Okay, well, we don't have a whole lot of copper, so we can't we can't do too much with these. Um, radiation emitter is probably good against most things that aren't ghouls. We could also do a flamethrower trap. Like, there's so much interesting stuff to do. It's just a little a little overwhelming, if I'm being honest. So should I even make a guard post? Like, where should it be? We're just a happy little cul-de-sac. Are we actually going to get attacked by anybody? Should I be slapping up some walls? I have no idea. No idea. No clue. We have concrete structures. Are these, like, defensive? I have no idea. Probably not, because they're not listed under defenses. Okay. Let's look at the turrets. We've got regular machine gun turret. He seems happy and easy to make. We could make a heavy one if we were a gun nut, but we're not. We can make a laser one if we knew anything about science, but we don't. So clearly I was probably not the correct person to choose for this job because all I can make is a spotlight and a machine gun turret. So I guess we're gonna put machine gun turrets up. Since this seems to be the main hub and where everyone is living, perhaps a machine gun turret could live behind these, uh, behind these things. Is this stupid placement? I actually believe that it is. I actually believe that that is some of the, the worst placement of something that's supposed to defend you that has maybe ever happened. Um, but this stuff is just so ugly. I don't I don't want to make our neighborhood ugly. I mean, I guess I'll have to. You know? So... If I put this here... That's awful. And I hate it. I hate it. Okay. I hate that. I actually hate that. What are we gonna do? Oh, look! Jude's doing it! <gasps> Hey, buddy, do you like the crops? I planted you so many melons. I'm not sure what you're doing. You're kind of just... That's all right. He'll figure it out. Um... <laughs> um... Like, we could put a wall. Like, we could, we could wall off, like, the part that goes to the dead end. I'm assuming if anything's gonna come at us, it might come down the road from the bridge, maybe? But also, I, I feel like this is a relatively safe place. Is that... Is that a dumb way to feel? It might be. I mean, I guess that doesn't look that bad. So let's go put a... Maybe we'll put a turret on this. He's not gonna... He can't see over the walls. He's short. He's short like me. What's the point? Do I want to scrap this? I think I do. Okay, so down here, we could put one of the tall ones and kind of like watch out for stuff that's going wrong. Um, but where would I want to put it? Nowhere really has a, an excellent view. 
I could put some defenses at the bridge. I think I will put one of these over here. Maybe near the playground. Like, is that stupid? Is that is this is this very bad? I think it is. I'm I'm unhappy with that. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna go over here. And uh, I'll probably just put some near the bridge, I guess. What do I get if I scrap you? Just steel. Very cool. Can I put one like on this thing? Oh yeah, yeah, cute. Face the bridge. That'll show them. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then I want to put one on that one too. So I need to really reach. Can I reach that far? Kinda. Not really. But if I jump on this trash can, I bet I can do it. Uh oh. Fell off. Whoopsie. Okay, we will make this work. Give me just a second. That's five defense. So when I put his his twin brother here, that's gonna be ten. That's pretty good. This is a pretty good start. Everybody's getting happier. Um, the bridge is defended. They've got water with a really awkward power line going up to the generator house. <laughs> Um, maybe I should put a spotlight somewhere, too. Let's see. There's the spotlight. And, um... It requires two power. That's fine. I might put it here. And have it... Oh, gee, I fell. And have it face the bridge, too. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that would be cool. Or I could have it, like, right here, pointing directly at our water source. So any bad guy that came up would know where the goods were. That's a radical idea. Might be okay if I put traps down there. Do not fall off. Do not fall off. Okay. We will go back up. And it will be all right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it is. It is all right. Like, we're, we're truly making a difference, I, I believe, for these people. Okay, cool. Spotlight time. And then I don't think it can reach. No, it can't reach to either of those. But what I can do is go to power, build, and extra one. Not that. Although, I might want to call more settlers here. And then these guys can have... They can have more... Oh, we don't have any copper. Well, I mean, that's that's okay. Um, th The spotlight doesn't have to be done right now, does it? Does it? Uh, okay. That's just steel. Let's look in this trash can. We have already looked in that trash can. Alright, good to know. Let's... Uh, why does this one have so much nicer of a paint job than that one? Guess the quality of your paint matters, huh? <laughs> okay heading back over and I'm going to look in the workshop. We're going to look at our junk and I'm going to take a second to actually see what junk has what because we're going to be needing copper for sure if we're going to be building power structures at these places. So if I go to transfer, we can see everything in here. So Abraxo is these things and I'm not going to read all of that out loud. We get nuclear material from Blocks. That's kind of neat. Aluminum things. There's globes. Plastic bits. Cement. Uh huh. Since I don't have anything that has very much copper, I'm probably not going to do a great job of learning what I need to pick up now that I've used most of it. But that's something I can think about in the future. Okay, plastic, more cloth, more plastic. There's my death claw hands. 
which will give us bones and leather. We have steel, so much steel, some adhesive, more ceramic. Wait, fuse. Ah, no joke, I've left some of these behind. <laughs> there was like a ghoul I, I killed out of fuse and I was like, I don't know, I need this. And I just left it there, okay. So fuses are good. Probably other electronic-y seeming bits are good. Okay. I think I am going to go back to Lexington because I remember exactly where that ghoul that has a one one fuse on him is. So we might go loot that fuse. Uh, maybe we'll bring some other stuff up. I think... Um, I think I want to build myself some safe storage in my house because I am carrying quite a bit and we don't want to be carrying this much forever. So I'm assuming that's going to be under furniture. Containers. Okay. So let's go in our bedroom and we'll scrap these useless uh, old ones. It's, it's a bit sad because this was, you know, my, my, my nice bedroom furniture with my happy family once upon a time but be okay uh yeah I'm not really sure what I want to decorate with but I, I do need safe containers so uh speaking of safe containers we could put a, a safe in the closet there. I want to turn it so it's kind of facing outward like that and then we'll grab it and straighten it up. Sweet! Maybe that's enough storage for right now. Hopefully no one will mess with it. I'm not actually super happy with the placement but I'm assuming we can move it when it has stuff in it. Let's put Addict Doll in it and see if we can move it. I just want it to be like, I feel like it's in the doorway. But I need to actually move it to successfully test if... See, look at the look at the floor and like how dirty it is with these leaves and stuff. I wish I could clean all of that up. Store safe in the workshop? No. That's right, you have to look, you have to look away when you want to... Okay, yeah, and it transferred all the stuff. In. Okay, that's fine, because I can move this around the house and it will just have all my stuff in it. Um, that's probably a good way to move materials around the workshop if you needed to. You could put down storage, fill it with whatever you wanted to move if you were over encumbered, and then pick it up in workshop mode, move it across the, um, the space, and then open it back up. I mean, I know you store everything you could ever want, really, in the workshop anyway. But, uh, yeah, I think in here, I'm gonna sort my weapons by weight. And, uh, yeah. So the fat man is weighing 30 pounds. It's gonna go away for right now because it's not something I'm gonna use that often. Um. I thought I had the nice pistol favorited. Will it unfavorite if I put it away? I hope so. Because we have this one. We have the glow-sided one. I'll keep those on me for now. Let's go over to apparel. So we have this uh, nice dress that we've found. It will go away. I will put the militia hat away. I will put the jumpsuit away. Have I, like, I thought I had two of these. Did I give one to Codsworth? Because I know I gave him some clothing. I'll just put some of this away. I kind of want to put Hubby's wedding ring in here because I, I don't want anything bad to happen to it, you know? But I'll hang on to it for right now because I, I like it. It's it's kind of nice just to have, you know, a very, very sad sort of way. Uh, yeah. Okay. No sad here, only happy building time, right? Let's open this again. Go to decorations. Maybe we get. Oh dear, no. Why is that the first suggestion? 
Oh, it displays armor, so it's not just creepy. It actually displays. Okay, well, we could do that. Display cases, displaying power armor, displaying, displaying, displaying. I tell ya. Vault decorations, like a cute, cute vault statue. Why? Why? I mean, I guess why not? Then there's like Nuka World stuff. There's other miscellaneous. I kind of want to put like lights around, you know? Are these candles lit? Like if I put the candles, like I think they are a light source. Okay, I want candles in my bedroom. It's only like kind of creepy if I put them on the floor. Let's put a bunch. Oh, we can't just like spam it. We have to actually make sure. Wait, what the heck? Okay, candle stack. That's fine. Um, oh, kitty bowl. I do want a kitty. There's all kinds of stuff. There's cribs. Oh, we already have a crib. Okay. A milk vending machine. Nuka vending machine. I believe this actually emits light, so I kind of want to put these around. Uh, I believe it would be nice. Like, what if we replace some of the broken ones? We'll just put this right where that was. Is that a bit nice? I'm not going to put too many. Not gonna put too many, but maybe we'll put two. I think it sounds like it could be quite good. Scrap that and just put this in its place. Kind of like to align. Yeah! <laughs> Here we go. Okay, and those are sticking out that way. Would it be nicer if they were the other way? I think it would. Let's turn it. Okay. Let's check the other one and see what direction the spiky things are turning. Yeah, they're turned that way. So it's also going to get hurt. There we go. Maybe that will be nice at nighttime, huh? We can just replace all of them with actually working light posts. And there's a lamp that looks like it's turned on. Wow, there's just so many things. Vim machine, okay. Ew. 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 <laughs> Ew. No. No, thank you. Is this a bucket of fish? Uh, is it? Is it really? Is that fish? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, they're not right. These fish are not right. Okay, I'll put them in the kitchen. Hey guys, you wanted food? Here's some fish. They're only kind of horrible. They're not completely horrible. I feel like that's gotta be an improvement in some ways. There's lobster cages, tannery business, there's grills, there's more radios, there's speakers, stereos, coffee machine. That's gonna go in my house. Ooh, it's like nice looking too. Oh, it's going in my house. I'm, I'm, I'm building myself. A coffee machine. See, look, and I don't even need some kind of industrial mount for it, like those weird people at the Super Duper Mart. I don't even need this. Cosworth can make me coffee all I want. Why can I not fit this on the counter? Okay, I do see now suddenly why they needed an industrial mount. Okay, self-indulgent coffee machine is gonna go over here. It's not gonna fit. It's not fitting. It's not fitting. I refuse to put it on the floor. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> um, not much apparently. So, this was my hollow tape player, but we can build a new one, right? It'll be like, it'll be like old times. Does it even fit there? It does. Okay. I'm really trying. There we go. It's it's a little more to one side than I want it to be. There we go. Cool. Does it do any it does it do anything? Oh, this is the chair. I guess I'll just take a sit. 
I guess I'll just take a nice little sit. Just kidding. I don't want to. So, can I use it at all? It doesn't seem like it. And also, it's crooked. And that's going to drive me crazy. So, what we're going to have to do... Open this back up. And straighten this out. I think that chair needs to move. So that... No, 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 no. no, no. So, that's going to go away. You, you beautiful chair, that Mama Murphy should have appreciated more, you're gonna go there. And then this will have the space it needs, maybe, to be straightened up. How's that look? That looks pretty straight and pretty flush with the wall to me. It's not perfect. But look at the absolute state of this house. Does it really matter <laughs> if it's perfect? Uh, I think it will be nicer when we get more... Um, more nicer furniture and stuff going on, you know? But I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about the roof. I don't know what to do about the walls. I, I know there's there's got to be... There's got to be a way to handle that. But I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. And then this door is knocked down. Like, can I fix that? That is only scrappable. We cannot pick it back up. Let's go back from decorations. Is the door furniture? Probably part of a wall, right? Doors. Okay. Can I put this door here? Oh, yeah, we can. Cool. What's the front door like? The front door is orange with stripes. So I don't know if we can access the same orange with stripes door, but that's okay. This one looks a bit, a bit nice. Is there a white one we could put? Like a, a not dodgy looking white one, because there's a dodgy looking white one. I don't really want a, a, a wood one there. I guess that one's good enough. I guess that's... No, that's wood. Why can I not clone this door? I like that. I like that door. I don't like this one. It's gotta go. It's got to go! Scrap. Okay, let's look at the doors again. Uh... Over here? Yeah. So, if we look at them all... In person, we can select the best candidate. Hey, this one's not bad. That's not, that's not bad. Hey, some of these doors have like walls on them. Oh, it's a powered door. It needs power. What, so that means it's like auto? Automatic door? I think I'll put the white one. Maybe the white automatic door? Oh dear. No, that's wrong. That's not where the door should go at all. Wait, what? It can go up there? Oh no, I'm going to cry. No, I take it back. Undo. No. Oh, oh gee. Oh no. Uh... can't seem to select it. <laughs> Maybe if I go up on the, the roof, okay? Um, wasn't there stairs as an option? Is that a furniture? It's not. Stairs are not a furniture. Oh my. Okay. Um, I mean, there's like ball tracks. There's like elevators. Like what is... I... Mm -mm, no, I'm not fussing with multi-level anything at the moment. Let's go back to wooden. There we go. Stairs. Okay, we just need to get up on the roof for a second. I've made a mistake. Oh, wait. There it is. Oh, yeah. We can access it. Wait a minute. Okay, so if that's the way that is. 
Can I actually fix the roof from up here? Like, can I just be like, hello, have a new roof? It doesn't appear that I can. This is not... Uh, I, I just want the roof not to be quite as bad as it is. I would happily rebuild it. I was kind of expecting maybe we could just slap repair on this. Like, come up here, you know, press E, stuff some materials into it, and then maybe it would look not like this. But I, I guess that's not an option. I guess I was wishful thinking or something. And I don't want to get rid of our car because that's our car. I will get rid of that umbrella stand though. We can get a new one. We can get a nicer one. Let's go back to doors. And what do I want to do? Like, this one looks terrible. This one's not as bad. This one's okay. Why can't I not put a powered door here? Let's go back to the powered doors. Yeah, no, that's not happening. No. Okay, what about this guy? That guy looks pretty nice. Yeah, look. He's a, he's a perfectly appropriate patio door or garage door, whatever you'd want to call him. I mean, he's going to let in a draft, but I mean... <laughs> That's not my concern. <laughs> That's not what I'm worried about at the moment. Okay, um, I think I'll go in here. And no. Yes, I just never hold the button long enough. I need to get myself trained for this, like all the pros probably have. Um, let's go back to furniture and go back to mm, containers. Okay. So this one looks kind of nice. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what to put. I just don't like how the safe is out in the, in the middle of the open, but I can't put it under, under the bed because then it's on top of a rug and that doesn't make any sense. So I guess it goes back in the closet. If I put it sideways, does it make more sense? No. It doesn't even like to be sideways. There you go. Wait, there you go. I want to put a piece of furniture to put these candles on, though. But I don't know what. A trunk, maybe? That feels like a fire hazard. <laughs> um. This dresser looks okay. Are there other dressers that match it? That would be nice. I want to put it like at the window so that it would look it would look good in the in the nighttime. Okay. Uh Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I just want to put it closer to the wall. I don't want it to be floating on the wall, please. I don't think anyone ever wanted that. Why would you assume that's what I am trying to do? Well, that's not great, but it's okay. And then I can place candles. Wait, why are they unhappy if you turn them? This is not going... Wait, the way I thought it would. How come sometimes it's okay with it and sometimes it's not? Oh my goodness, I'm about to give up. Why is this so hard? Put a candle! Like, put a candle. Guess what? You are candle. Can I get the top candle to not be doing that, please? Yeah, this is just a mess. I'm gonna ruin the enamel on the top of that dresser, I swear. Come on, more candles. I just think they're pretty. There we go. Bed bedroom with happy candles. One of them's flying. That's fine. No, give me this one. Scoot it. Make room for your brother. There we go. A whole lot of time. For not a whole lot of reward. <laughs> Cool. Okay, there we go. It'll at least look pretty at nighttime. Candles in the window. Nice. It, it could it could have been worse than it was. That looks like I'm probably a cult leader. That's fine. 
<laughs> I, I can worry about interior design later. I just wanted some happy candles. Um, well, they've got defenses. Where's Sturges? I hear the hammering. That's got to be him, right? Hey, are you enjoying your melons? It looks like uh, it looks like June is. Hey, hi. Thanks Can for you talk that. to me? Well, I'll sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. Oh, you're welcome. Long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Oh, feels good. You're welcome. Uh, what are you gonna do next? What next? Well, I guess figuring out how to get back to living instead of just surviving. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Mine's not, though. Please don't. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Is he actually going to close up all of the walls? I don't believe that he is. Wait, you want to talk to me? But, Codsworth, this is not that. But if I don't say yes, we may never get to have this conversation. What's on your mind? Sure. What's on your mind? Oh, just a little something I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. You've no idea the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction. Not knowing if you and your family were all right. Oh, it was a relief just to find the entrance intact. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Codsworth. It was so sudden. Not even time for goodbyes. Not a single worry, Mum, as I shared your priorities completely. Family safety first, above all else. And yes, while it was hard at first, I was able to eventually move on. At first it was the work, busying myself day and night, and believe me, there was plenty of it. But eventually the work became light chores. What truly saved me was my memories, Mum. Memories of you and the hubby, young Sean, of your love and kindness. I soldiered on, fueled by hope that one day, if not you and the husband, that Sean, or perhaps Sean's children, would one day emerge. That's so sweet. I'm sorry it took so long. Sorry it took so long. I only wish we could have all gotten out. As a family. As do I, Mum. As do I. It is unfortunate. I just wanted you to know how much I consider you family. Oh. I may be a mere robot to some, but I, I do hope you've come to see me as more. Interesting. Okay. So, you're... Okay. Why would you think otherwise? Why would you think otherwise? Hmm? From Sean's birth until now, you've always been there. Mom, you don't know how wonderful it is for me to hear that. I feel completely recharged. Well, enough blither blather from me. Let's get back to it, shall we? Okay, so that's one way to make him feel good without, you know, without making him think robots are people. So, okay. Um, I do like Codsworth. He's he's quite nice. Um, okay. Well, it's very foggy, and I've <laughs> I've not had a great deal of success uh, with actually making this place look better. I really feel like that's going to be time consuming, and uh, for now, at, at least we've been able to give them some food and stuff. I do want this to to not be the way that it is. So I think since they're not in horrible need of of this stuff right now and we've got the you know what would you call it? I guess it's a quest. I guess it's a quest. We've got that moved along. So some of these plants can be stored until later and uh so they've got a nice selection of melons to eat they've got a mute fruit plant oh no <laughs> they've got a mute fruit plant i'm gonna continue putting lines of carrots i'll probably have like a couple lines of carrots and then maybe put some razor grain behind it and maybe some corn but it looks silly to me when it's just one of each item sitting there you know menacingly whenever it's 
obviously supposed to be a garden. So I'm going to wait till I have more and then I can plant nice rows of things. Uh, so yeah, we got the tutorial e story e part done. But I, I am kind of thinking that probably for future episodes of this settlement series, um, I might try to do something to make them a little less tedious because to, to be honest, while I'm learning, it's, it's not so hard for me to talk to you about my thought process. We, we notice little things together, but this has been two and a half hours ish. And nice it probably could have been a lot I I less. Right I think Preston may want to chat though. I think I will consider different ways I can edit these to make them nicer to watch. But this one is going to be the way that it is. At least I think so. <laughs> so uh, I love you guys. Thank you for choosing to spend your time with me. I hope that you liked seeing me learn some of the settlement stuff. I feel like we didn't get a lot done. Um, and I feel like it could be really time consuming and that if I ever was going to actually sit down and try to make a settlement or a building, it would take hours and it wouldn't be good to watch. And I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm really conflicted on the settlement system and about what I want to do and how I want to incorporate it into my channel. Hopefully this one was fairly relaxing. Um, if you liked it, please let me know that you liked it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess we all learned today that I'm not cut out to be a Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> but I will keep using the settlement system a little bit and I'll let you know what's going on uh, along the way and we'll have more of these. So, okay. I love you and I will see you in the next one for a different sort of adventure. Cosworth is just going to bump right into us. So that's always good. As he likes to do at the end. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.